Today we're going to be doing the draw born of the mortise and tenon joint. Uh, part one I did the tenon, that was fairly simple. The next part was the mortise and that was simpler. And this one is simplest. All it is is drilling a little bit and offset your two holes to pull the joint completely together. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and mark your spots where you're going to be wanting to make the main hole. Mine was halfway up in between the 2x4 which is an inch and 3 quarter and then off of the edge of the 2x4 I went 7 eighths of an inch and I'm going to be using a half inch Forstner bit to drill this because it's a lot shallower which gives me a less of a point on the tenon. And I'm just going to be starting to drill down. If you guys can remember, my mortise wall was only about a quarter inch thick. So I'm not going to be pushing down too hard. So the way I'm going to be doing this is just drilling a little bit with a Forstner bit until I feel it break through that 2x4 wall into the tenon. As soon as it does that, I want to stop and pull the joint back apart. And you should see a little dent where the Forstner bit tip hit the tenon. When you're at that point, the next thing you want to do is drill the hole through the tenon, and that is fairly simple. You just want to move about a sixteenth or so of an inch towards the shoulder of your joint. When you do that, you want to go ahead and just drill straight down again. If you guys have a drill press, this makes it very easy, but the pieces I'm working with are fairly large and I have a small drill press, so I'm just going to be using a hand drill. If you have dog holes, this really helps as well because you can have some support on the back of your board or you can just go ahead and get either another 2x4 or a piece of plywood to help with the backing process so that your uh, board doesn't split apart. So after you've drilled your hole through your tenon, you want to go back to your original hole and finish drilling that straight down. This is a little bit difficult with the hand drill, but I made out fairly well on other ones and I'm going to be doing this one fairly simple as well just by eyeing it up and hopefully getting the hole right. After you've got all your holes drilled you want to go ahead and start to glue up your process. Remember once you put this joint together you can't get it back apart so make sure that all your joints that are going to be in line are all put together first and all ready to be glued up at the same time. Now after you've gotten your hole all drilled it's time to start making your dowel for it. You can't just take this straight square end and shove it into the hole because it would actually hit against that little ridge that I showed you. So what you want to do is just take a knife or even just a chisel and you just want to pair up the side and go and make it into a point. You don't want to make it too thin or else it's going to end up breaking. So I've got it into a nice little point right here so now I've gotten this all together and I've got my point right here all you're gonna have to do is slide it into the hole and I've got a hole right here in my bench that I use for my hold fast and my plane stops and I'm just gonna take it center it up and I'm just gonna take it and with a mallet and just beat the top of it and it'll slide in there So you guys can see that it's gone down pretty far and it has came out of the other side. So now at this point what I would actually do is trim it right here and right here on the top and then this thing would be inseparable. This caused the 2x4 on this, point, this part to pull in and this is a very tight joint now. The reason why I've got this little gap is just because of the 2x4 edge right here. So, I'm going to pop this back out, get the rest of them done, and get it all glued up. Well, there you have it. There's the end of part three of the bunk bed build with the drawboard mortise and tenon. I've gotten the spike put in. This joint became very tight afterwards. It's not going to be loose at all. You can't pull it apart or anything like that. It really works well because once it's in, that joint won't ever be able to come apart. So that's one of the benefits of this. Now you can just go ahead and 
peg it with a dowel and the joint won't ever come apart. But the benefit of this is it pulls even tighter together during the process. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are, how you guys go ahead with this. I know a lot of people probably would have done this with a drill press, but mine isn't large enough to hold one of these 2x4s in this length. So I did it the easy way with just a hand drill. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and check out the other two parts currently on my channel. The part one, part two, where I explain how to do the tenon and the mortise. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos I put out with woodworking, blacksmithing, and also some homesteading videos. I'll see you guys on the next video.